Josh Bridges is a ferocious competitor. Couple athletes on both sides here, veterans who need to have a big day three. Starting with Josh Bridges, finds himself on the outside looking in day three, currently in seventh place. Now we got that, uh, it's about a 10, 15 foot putt. And then if I put it in, I'm golden. If I miss it, I'm probably gonna be hanging out for a while. Crossed the finish line and I looked around and I kind of saw where I was at. I was like, there was already a few people finished and I was like, uh, I was like, I just had a bad feeling in my gut. I was like, yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I got it. We'll see. Ah, oh, fuck. I think I sat here in a minute. Can we look on my phone? Sure. I'm gonna break, do you want to break my heart? Ah, oh, fuck. I don't know. That's gonna be so fucking close. Ah, oh, shit. starts in three days and I leave today for London. I'm going to be in Europe filming a movie while doing the Open and continuing to train to get back to the CrossFit Games for the next two months and I'm scared shitless. But if you're not scared or you don't feel nervous about something, I don't think it's something you should be doing. Going riding. I always wanted to act or be in movies and it literally fell in my lap. I got a phone call. I found out shortly after that it was Wonder Woman. Who doesn't want to be a superhero, let alone in a superhero movie, flying or slicing people up? I've always liked movies like that, so I was really, really excited. Brook ends, 16.2, CrossFit Black 5, Manchester, England. 16.4 in Watford, England. 16.5. Somewhere four hours south of Naples, Italy. I was in the gym twice a day and got as much done as I possibly could. Dumbbells. Rogue was able to send over a little bit of equipment for me. I had some heavy dumbbells, heavy kettlebell. Um, it was, you know, hanging my muscle ups in a tree outside, handstand push ups outside in the grass inside of a building. This is my regional prep. <laughs> Luckily, actually, we did a lot of hiking and walking and hills everywhere. We're going to work out, and then we have rehearsal at 2 o'clock. We can't tell you what we're going to be rehearsing or we'd have to kill you. The last couple weeks before I came home 
were probably some of the toughest because I was really starting to feel the stress of what was coming up. This is one of those moments that I'm supposed to film myself. I'm not gonna cry anymore. I have horseback riding in 30 minutes. And then I have to do 16.1 for the second time. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. I almost yes. said no. You know, I train year round for the CrossFit Games and I was worried that I would actually like, disappoint people like if I maybe went and did this and I come home and I go to regionals and maybe I don't qualify. I'll be back. Uh, I will definitely not go out on this. It sucks. Oh well. I, did, I just didn't get into the gym as much as I should have. I relied on what I felt like I was capable of instead of actually going out and doing it and being ready for it. I was like, I'll be good. There was a lot of times last year I remember being like, man, I should probably go do a workout and I just wouldn't. I'm just really excited to go back and try to redeem myself from last year and so. Josh Bridges, 16.1. Josh Bridges, he dominates 365 reps, gets the win. And for the second time, Josh Bridges gets the event win. End up winning the workout, post the video, and the internet world did not like it. <laughs> I mean, this is my honest opinion. This isn't me uh, glamming it up for anything or anything like that. I thought I was hitting standard. I don't go to Invictus to do my open workouts because I think CJ is going to allow me to cheat. I don't. That's not the kind of person I am. I don't want to cheat to win anyways. I don't stand for that. Going back, I did send the video into CrossFit on Friday evening, and they told me it was okay. So that was the kind of thing that was kind of stung a little bit, is the fact that they did say it was okay, and then they were like, afterwards, like, well... But I also felt like Dave was in a really tough spot. I apologized to Dave. I was like, I apologize for putting in this scenario because you know this sucks for you as much as it sucks for me, and it sucks for CrossFit, and it sucks for the whole thing. The whole scenario just sucked. Josh Bridges last week suffers that major penalty in 16.4, so has 15% of his reps taken away. 16.5, uh, Josh Bridges, so coverage. That clearly upset him. A mad Josh Bridges is a dangerous Josh Bridges. Oh! Josh Bridges is looking to assess a major penalty on the California <laughs> yeah. Regional when he heads down there. He is in touch with his anger 100%. I think Dan could be a repeat. He's been around long enough that I don't think any of this stuff's going to trip him up. I think Josh is certainly capable of making it back. I think everybody's waiting to see how he's going to do on the deadlifts, but he's capable. He's a home run hitter too, so I think he's going to do well in some of these workouts. I think the women is wide open. I have no clue. The really trippy thing about the um, about the regionals this year is, is Brooke Ennis. So it all basically is like is she should win it, but she took a couple months off and went to Italy to film a movie, and that's really like I think where the the drama is going to unfold. The camera should stay close to her because she she may fucking just emotionally implode because she knows she can go to the games and she knows she can win the games, but she might not even make it through these regionals because we don't know what she's been doing for two months in Italy. So funny, I keep reminding myself that I don't, like I, it's good I'm nervous, but I don't need to be nervous. I do this literally every day. Not compete, but train. I'll be really, really nervous until the moment I do my first snatch, and then it won't matter. We're leaving him, thank you. We never leave him. You logged out of your social media? I am, I'm going dark. Is this the first time in history that you've ever logged out of your social media? For longer than like a couple, like an hour, yeah. Actually, let's be real. Longer than like five minutes. The official regional, regional song. Was it the liquor that makes me act wild? Times got him with her. Anonymous bitches of other niggas trying to kiss her. You're feeling the nerves now. It's building. I got it in the pit right now. So I got a, a nice little feel. Damn. It's got to loosen up. And if you eat an apple from the bottom, you can eat the whole thing. It's easier to eat. Literally, if you eat it from the bottom, the core sort of disappears. It doesn't get like hard. It's really easy to eat. I think these guys should have to wear dresses when they wear their old shoes, their high heels. Before this regionals came out, I, I told myself, whatever day of announces is going to be good. You know, the snatch ladder, I love that workout. And the funny thing is, I've never even hit, like 265 was going to be a PR. So when I hit my two, two reps at 265, I'm going to PR twice that day. So it's going to be good. Stay composed. It'll probably happen at some point this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> That'll freak out. Yeah. Back's probably going to hurt. You're still going to crush it.
Shit, man, that was. <laughs> didn't, didn't think she'd fail her first one. I think she was probably just a little antsy out the gate, but she stuck to her game plan, got it all done. Yeah. It's faster than she did in training, so. My wife is Brooke Ants. Pretty cool. Hot out the gate, then, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Miss. I mean, it was. So there's no correct thing to say to her when it comes to CrossFit and the, and the workouts and everything. It's like, you got to just be there. If she does really great in a workout, I'm like really excited and I'm like a fanboy at the same time. So I'm like running up there all giddy and you got to like tone that shit down. You got to hold that shit in like a man and don't let, don't let it show because the second she sees me happy or excited, she can like, she takes it and, and starts thinking about it. So I just got to be there just kind of be like, you good? You good? All right, well, I'm gonna, I'm just be over here now, just hands off. Sit. Oh, what a good gorge. Waiting for her to come home. She's been gone for like, what, it's like almost May. She's been gone since February. Earn it, earn it, earn it. Oh, fuck yeah, I'm excited, man. Roll over. I haven't had my wife. I've been just sitting in here eating PB&Js, just waiting for her to come home. Are you wearing Birkenstocks? Yes. What? Hi! Oh, where have you been? My friend Harry, she went home and... Oh, come here, her come, here come here, give me a... And her dog won't even look at her. Mm. <laughs> this is the longest day ever. I'm sure. Good to see you. Has he been crying all day? Yeah. <laughs> Who, me or the dog? You. Mm. Don't eat hot plate of spaghetti. In my face. I don't Are you sick of dad? You're gonna have a rude awakening when you don't get to sleep in the bed anymore. She got back, she was a head case. We go to the gym. Do you wanna go to the gym? I don't know, maybe. She hadn't been squatting, but she'd also been just kind of stressing herself out because she got just thrown back into the the mix of everything. Biggest issue would be my left knee. Tendon stuff, burning, basically. I'm okay with it. I won't be 100% at yeah. regionals, but hoping that I make it to the games and then right. have, have more time, time to be 100% at games. Okay. It says how HQ originally planned to announce this year's individual regional events. And not one of you is prepared for it. Individual event two is a variation of the CrossFit Hero Workout eight. Not as fun. Not as fun? No. What? Four strict muscle ups is a lot. Ten rounds. home from Europe, it's home for a few days and it was ready, it was time to head out to Utah for mock regionals with my coaches. It's not really a lot of cardio, so we'll see how much muscle endurance I have. And then Nate, you know, the strict muscle up, I, you know, the only thing that really makes me nervous is the standard and how, and how it gets judged.
That one right there? Yeah. That one felt the best, that makes sense. I was before that where you're like, you have a really quick transition, so it's happening fast and it makes it look better. No, it makes it look like it was a kipping muscle up, but oh, right. I'm, I'm trying to look at like Yeah, all I'm trying, I, I just try to get to here fast. Cause like, I know once I'm there, I'm fine. Right. There you go. Ah, fuck. That's better. Yeah, I'll work on that a little bit. That one's a, a hero workout. And so those are always really make you fight and make you not, you know, like when you're in the middle of them, it's easy to be like, you know, I'm hurting, but this is whatever. It's not a big deal. It's, it's just a workout and you know, you're, you're doing it for a purpose. 20 minutes of upper body torture underway. Yeah, it's like a, it's, he's like a dang piston. Interesting pacing from Josh Bridges. Pace for Brooke has slowed down a, a lot in between reps on the muscle ups from the first two rounds. A little run to the kettlebell. I think that's awesome for Doc. That run to the kettlebell, different mindset completely. Stalking his prey here in round nine of ten. Josh Bridges closing that interval down. This for Brooke is one of those workouts that's going to be damage control. So she needs to make sure she can kind of stay up there in the picture. Bridges hits one. Bridges hits two. They're onto the wall at the same exact time. Can Lucero hold off Josh Bridges? Oh my gosh, here we go. First off, it's not going to be that big of a deal. It's I know, but I think the most frustrating part was like, I didn't pay attention to anyone around me, but right. the second Boz came over to tell me that when I was when I did two, yeah. he was saying that when I'd come to extension, when I would hit extension, that I was back swinging, which okay. I don't agree with, but I did my best to fix it. Right. It's like I'd be completely locked down. He'd go one, right. like the entire time. Right. My knees would barely, yeah. barely fucking bend, and Boss said that was fine in the briefing. Right. <sighs> hey, let's move on. You know, you know, one at a time, remember? You're fine. You can feel bad about it for 10 more minutes. I'm okay? just mad. I know. Okay. I did so many reps, they called no reps. Yeah. And then he kept telling me to watch my palm. My hands yeah. were fucking inside the box. Right. 
I was literally like this doing handstand push-ups. It's not CrossFit's fault. It's not the game's fault. Get over this in a second, and let's just go back to doing everything you can do this weekend. I know you're upset, but like the, the pl gear placing as well as those around you, it's not going to be that big of a deal, I promise you. We don't know how they were, how strict they were with other people. In, in this heat and other heats, we have no clue. fucking open my mouth when I shouldn't have. I can't help it. It's like you see that she's bummed out and you like want to say something to nurture her and you open your big stupid mouth and fucking that is, I shouldn't have said anything. I told myself don't say anything if shit goes bad. Keep your distance. You were even going over there like hey man it's not a good idea and I was like oh but she's she I think she needs me. She didn't fucking need me. Shit. I think you should have come out with, hey baby, you may have not done as well as you wanted, but you looked good. Oh man. I, there's no right thing to say. Should have got no, you tried that. Go try that. I'm staying away from her for a while. <laughs> Ooh, Jasper's gym bag. Some goodies. A lot of voodoo floss, some knee sleeves, a lot of like stream endurance, creatine JB, perfect bars. There it is. Fuel 5. I'll even hook Cammy up. Fuel 5. Oh yeah, Dan's upset. Yeah, I think he probably thought he was going to do better than we did. He did good still. I love Dan, but right now I'm all focused about me. Have to be. Old Dan Bailey. Dingleberry Bailey. Barnacle Bailey. <laughs> He's got a lot of names. Nah, Dan's a great dude. Um, Dan, hey, we, we throw some of that, bro. What is that? Throw it back. No, I'm not throwing anything on your back. See, dude? You think you have a good dude and a good friend in somebody, and this guy will not help brother out. You know, I just you want would to. not throw that on my back. You would not put that on my back. I don't even know what that is. It's just some heat. That's all. It's just heat. I just need a little help. I need a hand. I need a third hand, dude. I don't have a third hand. I can't reach my back. So I was gone. I was out of town. Oh, I didn't... we had a nice little argument about this. Yeah, we did. We had an argument. Yeah, exactly. I snapped back at Josh. It's an argument. <laughs> you did snap back, and I, I'm, I'll it's tell. Like a legit <laughs> argument. <laughs> I moved something, and I noticed on my couch there was a paint stain on my couch. I was like, it wasn't very big. It was like, I waited till the next time I saw Dan, and I was like, Hey, Dan, you been paint? You paint your boat lately? And like a little, not, like, just, yeah. all, just all nonchalantly, you know, like that. He's like, I'm like, you painted your boat lately? Like, yeah, actually, I painted, I don't know, remember like, what like, I was yeah, painting. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I did actually paint it. I go, what color was it? He's like, well, it was white. And I was like, hmm. I was like, like this color right here on my couch. So what would you do, Ian, if you got painted? Clean it up. Yeah, you clean it up. <laughs> so I go, I was like, yeah, you're gonna, you gonna, you gonna get that paint, man? He's like, he's like, what are you talking about? You got, there's stains all over that couch. <laughs> I'm like, what does that have to do with the stain that you added to my couch? Like, what? Exactly well, like, I turn and look at the couch and it's got like six holes yeah. in it, a cigarette burning on it. Oh, like, <laughs> oh okay. Yeah, well, now who exaggerates? Yeah, it's right there. Where? Right there, that's the, that's the paint stain. Oh, I, yeah, I've I actually, I I've actually it. cleaned it. You don't see anything. No, I, I do, I do. Seriously. Yeah, of course you do. Oh, you can tell us there. All other stuff. I mean, this is, yes, this is dirt. I have a five-year-old and a three-year-old. They're dirty kids. <laughs> well, you got me too, Jeff. And I got, I got, a, I got, got a good 30, buddy. Man. I got a 30-year-old. 31-year-old. 31-year-old. Oh, you got me too. Every, every time a couch is micturated upon in this <laughs> fine city, I have to pay for it? I have to pay for it. Perfect. Too perfect. The vent three and four is just really painful. And so um, I think it's probably the most painful workout of the weekend. So that'll be fun. Is it? Boom. Does it look just like me? <laughs> this, is gonna, this is gonna sell some teas for Rug. All right, I know. <laughs> I mean, when I started CrossFit, there was, it wasn't a sport. It was a, a way to be fit, a way to exercise, you know, workout routine, I guess. So that's how everyone did Fran back then. You had, a, you had a wall ball underneath, make sure you're hitting depth for your thrusters, obviously. Get a nice little bounce out of it. You think that would have helped you in the Open this year? Oh, for sure. People wouldn't be calling yeah, you out. Right, and you're right, you're right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I did that video 
It was the weekend after I graduated from SQT, so right when I earned my trident. Hey, go get a little like uh, prep, like stretch, kind of stretch out kind of thing. Women's softball? Hell yeah. My favorite. Yeah. Right oh, that's oh, right. Oh, yeah. I run back on their balls. I can't act like I'm. It hurts. This kind of sucks. <laughs> I'm pushing really, really hard though. Like I'll do active recovery days, probably like one every ten days or so, where I only do like one workout, one or two workouts. Let's see. That's a that's a one or two workout. That's yeah. cool. So I consider like I consider that like an active recovery day still. Um, so yesterday was an active recovery day. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. Yeah. Competition's different. It's like, of course, the volume is a lot less than what I train, but the intensity is insane. You know, tough standard to go strict with for judging, judging wise. Would you say you got away with stuff or that you had a stricter judge? I don't I don't know. I mean, I felt like I was, you know, I was trying to meet the standards, so I felt like I was doing it well. My judge was saying I was fine. And Bosman came over a few times and, you know, like hit me up. So, you know, I tried to meet the standards as much as I could, and my judge was saying they were good, so, you know, that's what I did. I've kept my distance ever since. What you gotta do, man? Yeah, I don't. I mean, I've lived with married couples. I see it. <laughs> I see it all the time. It's not on time. Yeah. You're doing just fine. Thanks, son. man. God, see, so, somebody can help me out. You be there to listen, and you just keep your mouth shut. Yep. That's what you do. That's How'd what I, I go? I fucked that up. <laughs> I'm actually kind of mad because a lot of people have told me where I'm at, and I don't want to know. It just doesn't change anything, you know. I thought you were gonna do better at the pistol one, but I, think, I mean, it's fucking hard. I shaved them the last night for today. Yesterday, though, no, I didn't shave them. And they're growing. You can see all, all the goosebumps and, and scars. This, that's not shaving either. That's pure, unhaired armpit. Free as, uh, I'm as bare as like, I don't know, bare as bare can be here. I'm like a hairless dog or a cat. I don't have hair on my, I don't have much hair. God, this refresh is nerve wracking. Looking at the points right now, she's, they, they haven't added in the fifth, fourth event. She was in fourth after the fourth event, but she's gonna drop a little bit because she uh, got 27th on the fourth event, which is gonna hurt her, but. So nice to see you. I got a team of awesome, awesome people Absolutely. that keep me, keep awesome me fed. She's, a, she's been known as to be a Cladsdale. I call her my pony, because she kind of has like a pony-esque trot about her. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we, we try to make sure she's well-fueled like a pony would be. I tried to order something different. Sat here, started logging all my food into my, my app trying to decide if I could afford all the fat that was going to be in the mole that I had ordered. Scared me a little bit, so I uh, went for fajitas instead. Safe. It was a safe bet. Okay. Milk, perfect bar, and uh, some extreme endurance protein. I had a little creatine JB earlier, but you know. <laughs> that's neither here nor there. Still that in there. <laughs> Gave Tony Blower a call because we knew he had a true for, or seen if he had a true form and he did, so he's, he said we'd come up and use it. Cool. So we're gonna do that. Hit that workout. And the next workout is my is kind of my redemption workout. You got the deadlift workout. I'm really looking forward to that one, you know. 
everyone's I've, I've gotten trouble about that four or five deadlift forever even though I got 13 of the 15 reps in the games that year everyone says I couldn't deadlift it but I did it 13 times but yeah sure meanwhile Josh Bridges got Three, left two, in the dust one, as he was still two, deadlifting so I couldn't deadlift four or five the 14th and 15th time so uh, so I'm excited about that one I, I you know I'm I'm really hoping to do really well at that workout Touch Brooke Entz and Josh Bridges' ass Wins. on the same day. Wins. These are called, it's called winning. Thank winning. you very much. Obviously a redemption year for him. If there was a redemption event, this is the one. And he is here to show people, this is what he was telling me. This isn't even my words, these are his. I want to show people that I can do the 405 and it's not going to be a big deal. He told me that it will not be a big deal. And this could be an event where Brooke might make up some ground in the point standings. We haven't mentioned her yet. She enters this in eight. But look at the tempo and the speed that he's moving. Brooke and seeing herself on the outside looking in. Take the lead on the GHD sit-up. And he is making up huge gains on the GHD sit-up. Wow, did he have problems a couple years ago with this weight? I think all you can say about that is point proven by Josh. This isn't going to be an issue for her. She's the first one through round number one. But Brooke Entz continuing to lead the way. He looks like he's the exact same tempo we had in that first round. Look at that. There's no setup. He just goes for it. Wow, she looks much more solid this round than she did that first round. Almost looks like she hasn't had her core weakened by 80 GHD sit-ups and 800 meters on the true form runner. You're looking at a battle between two of the elite in CrossFit with Josh Bridges and Dan Bailey going toe-to-toe -to -toe here in this final event. Why I do is because I love to compete, to push myself to see what I'm capable of, to see what my potential actually is and how far I can push past it sometimes. I don't know, I have a hard time not wanting to be the best at whatever it is I'm doing. Brooke ends. This would be huge for her going into the final day, but Lauren Fisher right uh, behind her. Brooke ends with her seventh and final deadlift. She'll cross the line, and that is huge for Entz. The difference is that mental toughness of Josh Bridges. He just has a I will not stop attitude. I will not give up attitude, and again, he wants to prove to everyone what he needs to do, and man, is he making a statement. And Josh, you have redeemed yourself on the 405 pound deadline. He takes a big five. Man, this guy's on the roll. That just was real fucking painful. But it felt so good for me to be the first one off the, off the run at the GHC. That was awesome. Good job, babe. I was like shake face. Ooh, fuck. This shirt, man. I've been wearing this shirt for two days. I'm ripe. Oh, fuck. And I can go that fucking hard tomorrow. On event six. What are you looking at, bro? I'm looking at comments that people say about my wife. She's back, exclamation point. Congratulations, Brooke. It was amazing watching you kill it today. Badass. That's my bae. She ain't too pretty in this pic, though. But she has an excuse. She just rocked the event. Well, yeah, I mean, you're not going to look like a goddamn prom queen at the end of a goddamn workout. I know, once I noticed you were behind me, I was like, OK, I'm just going to walk through the rest of this. Dan, too. Why are you shake facing? Because. Because I just can't help but know that. I can't help but be mad that. I'm just, I'm just fighting. Yeah, you're which I, your which job. I should be doing. Yeah. I just, I can't help but know that because of what happened in event two, like, I'm having to fight this fucking hard. Yeah. And I still have to, like. Yeah. The points are so close. Yeah. 
I'm pictures. thinking of all the motorcycles. It's going to be like a, a candid. The... Like, just yeah, don't yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, look at it. Like, I hope I'm laughing. I hope I'm in this good of a mood tomorrow at about 6, 7 p.m. That's good right there. Send me that one. <laughs> see you in the morning, buddy? Yeah, Dave, we'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you guys. Yeah. Good job. Hey, don't ask me stupid questions. I don't drink nearly as often as I used to. Were you in the military last year? Yes, I was. When did you get out of the military? October 14th. What made you decide to get out of there? Uh, there's a lot of factors, you know. Um, main one was, you know, I don't really want to be gone from my kids for long periods of time again anymore um you know just kind of uh kind of ready to move on i guess um i loved what i did loved everything about it. i've never go back and change anything but um yeah just kind of time 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 to ready to move move on yeah dad is the coolest title i've ever been given hey! yeah, but i have two kids uh, jackson and knox and they're uh, five and three I've had some, some titles that I'm honored that, that have been called, you know, to be called a Navy SEAL or a CrossFit athlete or a rogue athlete, and I think those are some cool titles, but, um... Oh, I got one last I don't know what's happening right now. Being a parent is has been so awesome. The best way someone ever explained to me was it's a club that once you're in it, you're like, gosh, why, I wish I would have got into it earlier. This parking job we got here. Crushed it, man. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a dickhead move, is it? <laughs> no. Um, I didn't start really having like trouble sleeping until after... Uh, oh, until after I... Uh, tell you the truth, it was starting to deploy. It was when I started deploying. Oh, after, I started, after I started deploying, I really... I haven't slept good. Is it because of like things that you experienced there? Or no, just, I, just I don't think so. I don't know why. To tell you the truth, it's just... just that's, that was when I can start to remember not being able to sleep well. Everything before that, I used to be a pretty good sleeper. So this is called cupping, bro. Basically, you light it, you put it in there, and right as you pull it out, you put it on the muscle that you want it on. I already got some coconut oil on there, and so rub it around. <laughs> I see. I've watched her do it, but I can't. It's like the cup is almost already on your body. Well, she's like, yeah, she has it like this, and then right as she pulls it out, she puts it right on. And it like creates like a vacuum effect. No, I don't know about Come that. Come on, let me be a good dude. I can do it. Oh, got a little suction there. Got a little suction. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call Heidi real quick. I'm gonna try to do it. I end up burning him. He's just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> right when I get it in there, the, the, the flame goes out. Is that normal? No, uh, that's not normal. Okay. And then you need more alcohol, probably. Or you're holding it up. Like, don't don't touch it to the top of the cup. Just hold it up in there. Okay. So I'm gonna try to do it to my chest. That's probably the fastest I can get it. <laughs> well, because of my um, that work? Got it. <laughs> it is on me. Got it. Yep. concerned about anything. I'm gonna go as hard as I can and I'm gonna dig as deep as I possibly can and hope it's enough. <sighs> Snapping the champ. About to be? Is you gay boy? Rotisserie. <laughs> Marson said he wants to try carb front loading. <laughs> Are you going to the party down the block? Come here. Come here. Uh -oh. <laughs> Come here now. He's not. Initially 
wasn't in trouble, but now I think he's in trouble. Come here. Okay. Up. Up. Race dog. Come here. He never gets left, so like when he does get left, it's a big deal. Really? <laughs> I thought I heard you say you didn't want to be touched today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, twice. Because he's more concerned about you. Story of my life. That's right. Thank you. Go get him. They understand each other. Mm -hmm. They don't really have, you know, they only have that with each other. A lot of other people can't understand either of them. <laughs> so it's a good thing they have, they have one another. <laughs> If Marston were a dog. Burning building, you and Riggs are inside. Marston has to save one of you. Who is he going for? The dog. <laughs> At burning building, you have time to save one person. Riggs he's very or... flammable. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to save the wife. No, he's not. Riggs can save himself. He is a good chippy. And 11 points separating Brooke Edson fifth. Colleen Foch, China Cho, and Chelsea Grigsby down in eighth. Big day, bro. That's a big day. Because today, like, dictates the rest of Brooke's year and, and my year on a cusp of qualifying, and she's got a good shot. She's going to do really well at six. I think seven, she's a little intimidated by because when we tested it at you, she was slipping on the rope, but it was a nylon rope. I'm, like, slipping off the rope. I mean... Who knows? I, I, I think she could do it. I know she could do it, but it's just it's stressful right now. Say she doesn't make it. What do you do? She's going to be there. Just not say much and give her a hug and tell her I love her. Ooh, it's close, man. These last uh, couple of events really are going to shuffle things up. I haven't dug into it enough to, uh, to know exactly who's going to make it. Obviously, Josh is going to win. That's a given. But the rest, it, there's a lot of room to be made from these last couple of events. So, so I don't have a better answer for you. Top five favorite movies, great question. Incredibles is obviously in my top five. You know, the ultimate classics, you know, like Braveheart. It's gotta be in top five. Gladiator, Tommy Boy. How many was that, three, four? I just gave four. you? Four. Four, man, gosh, I'm, not, I'm, only, I'm down to one left. I think I think of sports movies. Oh my gosh. Rudy. Rudy, man. <laughs> that is definitely my top Brooke is very strong. Brooke has a ton of capacity and she likes to grind. So I think that this is going to be a great workout for her. She needs to have this particular event if she wants to try to protect that fifth place spot. Bridges was saying yesterday that he loved these events and he wanted to win these events and he's so far ahead of everyone. I mean, I'll tell you what, that guy is riding a wave of confidence. I know she doesn't want to go in sitting in fifth place. She wants to move her way up the board, but if she wants to protect herself, this is where she's going to do it. Brooke ends on the left side of the screen, gets a no rep for depth. Look out, Josh Bridges lurking in the weeds here. He's number six onto the rower. The bubble athletes are trying to make their attack on Brooke in. It is addicting. It's addicting to suffer. <laughs> I'm addicted to the pain. I'm addicted to the opportunity to make a decision to be better every time I'm training. But you know what, what a great way to finish for Josh Bridges. He was out in the back for a while. What a way to hit that ending. Uh, I PR'd. I mean, I did better than when I practiced it. So that's good. One more. It's a little tense. So I don't want to go in there. And she says she can read it on my face, but I don't. No matter what I do, she's just, just let her be. Ah, that was good as I'd hoped. But, uh, Still did alright. Not upset. I got one more to go. Seventh, 421. Hagia, sixth, 422. Foch, fifth, 423. Cho, fourth, 425. So, four, five, six, four spots separated by four points. 
but so there are two spots, four girls, four points separating. So it's you, China, uh, however you say it, the short girl's name, Asian girl. Hi, Agia. Uh, Agia. Agia. Jamie. Um, and uh, Colleen. Colleen. So, you know who you need to beat? You're really fucking good at rope climbs. You're even better at thrusters. That's all you, okay? Yep. It'll be, it'll be over soon. Yes, it will. Either way. And regardless, life goes on after this, right? Yeah. It'll suck if you don't make it, but we all still love you, no matter what. So just give everything you have. She's so, she's so fiery. Like if anyone can freaking get in there and get the job done, I think it is Brookins. Take that weight for your life, baby. Woo! There's nothing happening this weekend that I'm not good at, that I can't do. So now it's just let the chips fall where they will and I've trained hard all year and now what I can control is what I think and how I react. No, for some reason this year I feel completely different going into regionals as compared to last year. Like I'm not nervous, I'm just I'm just excited and ready to go and fired up. Everything is up for grabs here. Who are our good rope climb individuals? Here we go. The last heat of the weekend here in SoCal. It's underway and expect fireworks. get back so I'm really happy got here on bro rep <laughs> You know, a lot of things like that just gave me the reminder of that life is so short and we're so lucky to be able to do what we're doing and make it and be at this level. And I train all year long, you know, to be the best I can be. 
Like in general, like uh, what his decision, um, he is trying to get big. He thinks that if he gets bigger, puts on some size, <laughs> that I'm just gonna want to jump his bones all the time. The work continues. How so? Back to the gym, back training, back hustling. I go back to London in August just for two weeks for a second film. And I just, you know, I I wasn't ready for my season to be over. But I am more than capable of getting back to the games. If you look at my finishes besides the pistol event, um, I was pretty well-rounded. It doesn't define me. There's a lot of good athletes out there and we're all fighting for, you know, five spots out of the whole state of California. So I'm gonna keep working really, really hard in the gym and I wanna come back and I'm gonna qualify next year and I'm gonna, you know, podium at the games. Once you start to make these decisions to do painful stuff, and CrossFit's painful. You start to push through those moments where you're like, gosh, I really want to quit or I don't want to do this anymore. No, you can keep going. You're fine. You can keep going. It starts not to become an actual thought to where it just becomes like instinct. It's like breathing, like, okay, now I don't have to even think about this. Yes, I'm in a lot of pain right now, but I'm going to continue to go. And then it bleeds over in other aspects of your life. Oh, that feels good. I like that workout a lot. When you write down a goal, I feel like you actually, then you have to figure out the plan to get there. You know, wrote down my goals. I was like, okay, be the best dad you can be. Teach your kids everything that you, teach them everything that you can, teach them and more. And then, uh, you know, win the CrossFit Games. I don't think about much else right now. You know, I think about working out, preparing myself, I'll meet him, and then I go to bed at nine o'clock and then I wake up and I do it again. People are just like, hey, what are you up to today? I'm like, I'm gonna train today. You know, I don't, I don't have any other, right now it's, it's, it's my, my main focus and my sole focus and I feel like I'm very capable of, of completing that goal.